I say you got to handle the negative. You don't have to live in it. You don't have to dwell on it. But you do have to handle it, my opinion. I know some people teach. Just turn your head real quick and say, there's no weeds, there's no weeds, there's no weeds. They'll take your guard. <laughs> so you've got to handle the negative. Here's what part of it is. It's called the great war between good and evil. Mr. Reynolds and I are working on a new book this year called The Great War Between Good and Evil. And there is a war on. The minute you were born, you got involved in the war between good and evil, between darkness and light, between negative and positive, between evil and good, between tyranny and democracy, between weeds and human activity. I mean, the war is on. If democracy sleeps, guess who never sleeps? Tyranny. In the absence of light, guess what's automatic? Darkness. If good does not arouse itself and become active, guess what moves in? Evil. It's a war, a mental war, a physical war, a financial war between enterprise and ease, between accomplishment and failure. It's a war. That's why there's an Old Testament phrase that gives the best advice for human activity when it says, six days labor, one day rest. Now, I'm sure we've taken that to mean, don't work all seven days, take one off. Here's what it also means, only take one off. <laughs> or you're liable to lose the war. Now, we've got it down to five and two, and maybe that's not too dangerous. I don't know. If God would have thought of five and two, he might have made it five and two. I don't know. You can't think of everything. But here's what it does mean. Enterprise is better than ease. If you rest too long, the jungle overtakes the village. Now, here's the good news about the war between good and evil. Evil is no match for good, but good must be active. Weeds are no match for human activity. But if you stand still, how far in will they come? All the way. They'll grow right up around your shoes. <laughs> but if you get busy, how far back can you take them? As far as you wish. They're no match, but you must be active. That's why the six and one. Make sure you're not losing the war by taking off to Guess what the average years are after retirement? Six. Six. Which means don't retire. <laughs> Your chances are too slim. Okay. The war between good and evil, the weeds. You got to make sure you recognize the negative, handle it, deal with it, and then go on.